A tummy ache can be caused by constipation or gas. It also may be the result of a virus, stress, or bad food. The digestive system of a child is simply not as efficient as that of an adult. So although food creates energy, it also demands a certain amount to digest the food. This is known in Chinese medicine as the digestive fire. You can think of it like an oven. In kids, we often see stomach aches as the result of too much rich food, too much cold food, or too much snacking. All of these situations may challenge a child's digestive fire, making it difficult for them to completely digest their food. As a result, there's pain or food stagnation in the belly. There are, however, some simple massage techniques that can be really helpful to relax the child and soothe their tummy. A point you may have seen before on this DVD is about four child-sized finger widths below the bottom of your child's kneecap, right against the outer side of the tibia bone, the center bone in the lower leg. This is one of the premier points for stomach ache, and in fact for all disorders of the stomach and even immune system. Massage often works best here. You can massage on both legs while your child relaxes. You can massage here for a few minutes or up to 15 minutes, or until your child experiences tummy relief. Just the other day, I used this point on my son and it worked within about three minutes. Two other effective ways to calm an unhappy tummy are to use tummy circles and spinal rolling. Have your child lie down comfortably on his back. Then with the pads of your four closed fingers or the palm of your hand, gently push while rotating your hand to make medium-sized clockwise circles around your child's belly button. Continue in a clockwise direction 50 to 100 times or for a few minutes. Have your child lie down on his or her stomach. They can leave their top on or take it off however they feel the most comfortable. If they take their shirt off, you might want to rub some oil or lotion onto your hands and their back to avoid any chafing. Start at the top of the neck and firmly but gently grab the skin and muscle at the base of their neck as though you are gently about to knead some dough. Rolling your fingers forward toward you, gently work your hands all the way down your child's spine, continuing the grab, roll, and release. Repeat this process at least three times going downward. If your child finds this technique in any way uncomfortable, you can also take the pads of your fingers and just massage down the sides of your child's spine about an inch to an inch and a half away from the spine. In acupuncture, this still hits points corresponding to every organ system in the body. Also, feel free to do your own combination of the two techniques and take some time with it if your child is finding it relaxing. My son enjoys it for about 10 minutes. Some of my clients like their parents to do this every night before they go to bed. It is great for their immune system, so that's up to you. Spinal rolling and spinal massage serve the really nice and important function of relaxing your child. They also stimulate your child's central nervous system. All organs in the body connect up to the nerves exiting your spinal cord. So in essence, what we're doing is stimulating every organ in the body to function optimally. Additionally, you're encouraging lymphatic flow. Finally, this technique accomplishes a lot. You're affecting your child's autonomic nervous system the system in your body that's responsible for a lot of automatic functions, including immune response and mucus production. In my experience, the results of these techniques are maximized by consistency. Just five to 10 minutes daily can make a huge difference. Some food remedies for a stomach ache include ginger. You can give this to your child as candy ginger, ginger tea or ginger ale, mint tea with honey, if following a meal your child's stomach is upset, you can try digestive enzymes. Our favorite in this situation would be the enzymes from papaya and pineapple, called papain and bromelain. Alternatively, a small bowl of pineapple or papaya can soothe an unsettled tummy. The other consideration in any tummy issue is your child's emotional state. The stomach has more nerve endings than any other organ besides the brain. If your child is appearing stressed or going through major transition, you may consider incorporating children's yoga or bedtime massage into their daily routine 
to soothe them and help them cope with a difficult time. You may also want to check out the section on what to do if your child is overtired or overstimulated and establish a routine that will help to soothe their nervous system. Connection with a parent or loved one may be the absolute best way to stop a cycle of stomach aches that is emotionally or developmentally related. You may also consider simplifying their diet. Soups help to restore the digestive system. Kanji is another favorite with our kids. Kanji is a yummy breakfast and it acts like a tonic for the digestive system. You'll combine one part rice or brown rice or millet to six parts of water and cook it for at least six hours or overnight in a crock pot. For example, if you're using half a cup of grain, you'll use three cups of water. One cup of grain would be six cups of water. Add to your crock pot and on low to medium heat and that's it. If your child is suffering from a stomach ache, you may also want to refer to the section on constipation or diarrhea.